So DC Comics just keeps proving time and time again that they are just the place where ideas go to die. So uh, we've been treated for weeks to just this unbelievable, uncreative, clickbait form of storytelling that DC Comics has been involved in, involving their core titles like Superman and Batman. And now, uh, just today, dropped headlines, DC has canceled Joel Jones' Wonder Girl early with issue number seven. So Wonder Girl, for those of you who haven't heard me talk about it, is... In my opinion, the only quality book that DC is is producing right now. She's been fun. It's a fun book. It's creative. It's different. And what's interesting about it is it checks all those boxes that DC Comics seems to care about as far as representation in comics and everything else. She is a South America Latinx character. Uh, she, it, But she kind of combines the mythology of South American and Mesoamerican mythology, along with the Greek and Amazon of the Wonder Woman mythos. It's been a very fun comic, a very fun ride to be a part of. And DC is just giving it the ax. And now I can understand if the book just hasn't quite found its audience yet. And it was kind of the normal time as it always has been where, you know, readership is the only thing that draws comics, but, or draws the sales of comics, whether or not they get to continue. But when you're in this, when you're in this era of complaining that too many characters, you know, fall into a certain demographic and there aren't enough Latino or, or minority voices out, out in the world of comics. And then to have one that is good and creative. And then they just cancel it because they, just aren't going to put in the patience and the work and the wherewithal to build this character and build this mythos, which they have been. I mean, they made her the face of the future state run. You know, was that a year ago, two years ago? Uh, she was, when they were advertising future state, she was always front and center in all the adverts. And that's because she did have a, a rumored show that was going or not rumored. It was, she had a show in development for the CW that show kind of fell through and I guess so did their interest of the character. Like if they can't market it through TV, then they're just going to go ahead and, and, you know, give it the ax, I guess. But um, yeah, this was like the only book that I looked forward to that came up, that came from DC every month. I mean, Batman uh, has, has pretty much lost, is losing a lot of steam since, since James Tinian left. Uh, the new run is just kind of, you know, if I were to sum up the new Batman run at a word, I'd call it pedestrian. Uh, it's nothing really new. They're trying to give us some new stuff, but you know, it's Batman. It's fine. But uh, Superman is, is just an absolute train wreck of a property right now. Uh, the Green Lanterns aren't aren't getting off the ground. Uh, the, the normal Wonder Woman books. I mean, they're out there. They're not they're not groundbreaking. I mean, all of DC right now is just circling the drain. And now to take one of their titles that actually had promise, actually had potential that was well written, well drawn, figuring or featuring a new character, establishing a new mythos. And we're just going to go ahead and cancel that. And yet we're going to continue to, to, you know, propagate the comic book shelves with just the absolute manure that they have been is, is just a slap in the face to comic fans. I mean, and you see, this is this is the problem when you don't have a self-sustaining line. See, in in the glory days of DC, you had more than just Batman carrying the line. Batman, Superman, the Green Lantern, the Justice League, all of those books strong were sales combined were strong enough to allow these other books to be able to exist without having to pull in these giant numbers. And that's what allows these these smaller characters to, to grow and find their audience and become a part of the DC universe as a whole. So uh, this article here comes to us from Bleeding Cool Comics. Um, yep, is this what happens when planned TV series doesn't happen? Wonder Girl, the new... A uh, comic book series starring Yara Flora as a feature state Wonder Woman was originally conceived for Dan Dido's uh, books or a 5G reboot of the DC Comics in which she would have been a Wonder Woman uh, would have been Wonder Woman, a TV series starring a Brazilian character was planned, but recently canceled. And now the comic book has joined its fate. So, yeah, um, you know, it's disappointing, I guess, you know, to to an executive or their eyes that the the television show didn't come to fruition but i mean at the same time uh you know this is how you get another turn at bat you know yara floor is a great character I, i've really enjoyed this book now my fear my ultimate fear going forward is going to be this isn't going to be the last we're going to see ever she's going to she's going to find a way i think to get back into uh 
back into comics somewhere. She'll show up on the pages of Teen Titans, or maybe she'll get another series down the road, or become a supporting character in Wonder Woman, or even take up the mantle of Wonder Woman, which I, you know, according to Future State, is, is kind of what she's destined to do. But I'm just afraid that someone's going to get their some some other creative team is going to get their hands on her, and they're going to turn her into something that that she wasn't. And the fact that she wasn't this cookie cutter uh, modern day just drenched in the message type character is I think what made her so appealing. The fact that they tried to make this character stand on just the power of her mythos and the power of the character that they were building and her supporting characters and the adventures that she was having rather than intersectional boxes that she could check or uh, storylines where she could, you know, come out as X, Y, Z. And, uh, you know, I hate to see this for such a good character. Oh man, they're, they're, I, I just feel they're gonna they're gonna butcher this character down the road. So uh, yeah, that's it. DC Comics continues to just be a bankrupt a bankrupt house of ideas. They are out of creative ideas. They are out of they are they're they're just they're just done. They just have nothing. They have no pulse. They're they're clinging to life support. They're in hospice. And this is just, you know, another sign of the organ failure that that's taken this once great company down the road to just total woke them and eventually just completely gone. So it used to be once upon a time, you know, and I, I don't think DC Comics is going away anytime soon. I'm not one of those comics industries coming to an end types. But, man, if, if it were true, if DC Comics was had to go out of business, there was a time when I kind of would look at that and, you know, just shudder to think. But I mean, now, now that I'm watching all these characters that I love just get put through the ringer and destroyed and dismantled and deconstructed and every other negative word in the thesaurus. Maybe it's just time we let these guys bow out with dignity while they have a little bit left. So anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below. Were you a fan of the Wonder Girl comic? Did you ever give it a chance? Uh, apparently she couldn't find the readership to keep her book alive. And unfortunately, DC Comics doesn't have strong enough core titles to allow its... Uh, fledgling books the time and room to grow but let me know if you ever gave this character a chance and if you liked it if you did uh what are you gonna miss about it are you afraid like i am they're gonna just butcher this character or uh, are you happy to see her go maybe you didn't like her to begin with uh anyway let's talk about the comments below and while you're down there uh please hit like subscribe um even share the video help the channel grow i really really appreciate it and i will talk to you on the next one thanks so much bye